What's up, Comic Movie Maker viewers? This is Nate, and today I'm bringing you an XSplit Broadcaster Gamecaster review kind of video. Uh, our partnership network that I'm working with is Game Mode 5, if you haven't noticed the branding changes and everything. And um, they're offering the ability to get XSplit Broadcaster and XSplit Gamecaster completely for free. So make sure to check out the partnership down below the uh, link and just apply if you're looking for a network. We're a network that's really looking for to improve and help gamers, YouTubers, in particular grow and become better at what they do compared to just saving our own assets and trying to earn us money so uh, make sure to check them out uh, let's get back to the actual what the point of this video is so uh, first uh, the cool thing is everything you're seeing right now is being recorded by XFoot broadcaster this is not an edited in like con movie maker screen that you're seeing this is actually a screen on the broadcaster that allows uh, allows me to like record different screens so right now I'm going to switch to my desktop screen and I can simply with a click of a hotkey switch back to this comic movie maker. This isn't in Premiere, which is pretty cool. So it's like a transition screen almost. So this isn't edited, edited in Premiere. So like I didn't just edit this picture and this is actually recording at the moment. Uh, but I can switch back to the uh, desktop. And we're gonna go over Gamecaster first. Uh, Gamecaster is uh, the really the easy, quick solution that I see uh, for people who are trying to get started. It doesn't, for me, I couldn't figure out exactly how to get the highest of quality, but there's decent quality. Uh, streaming, of course, my streaming is lower quality because of my network connection isn't that great at home. And um, but the recording quality didn't seem as high as I could get with Xbox Broadcaster. So I think I'll be using Xbox Broadcaster more. But I'm still going to go over the features of Gamecaster. Right now, you can uh, you can attach all your Twitch account, your YouTube account, your social network account. So when you start recording with a simple click of a button, it sends a message to your Twitter and your Google account and telling you all your followers to come watch your stream, which was very cool. You got all the normal settings with the like your um, resolutions and your microphones and stuff like that. Uh, you got all your hotkey settings and then you got uh, a space, easy recording space where I see where like with fraps and shadow play and other recording features is that they it's kind of hard to, the first time to find exactly where your folders are, where your, your videos are recorded. Like I have to go through five different folders or directories in order to get to my fresh recordings while um, it's all right here in Xbox Gamecaster. So I feel like Xbox Gamecaster is really quick for that awesomeness. Um, if you you can see at the beginning, you click this alt tab and it's kind of hard to see. Hold on, can I make this bigger? Yeah. Uh, this whole thing just comes up in your game and it brings like easy controls. You can record stream, and do all this crazy stuff. You can see the Twitch chat and the easy click of a button. So that's very cool for the people getting started. Um, but I want to go over more of a broadcaster because that's the one I'll be using. And I think that the, the one that's more like high, higher quality uh, right now, we're going to move this over and we're going to go back to, can we go back to steam and bring broadcaster back up? So this is what I'm talking about with the screen regions down here. You can see that uh, I can just click and we go back to the con movie makers which you obviously and then desktop which you can't see the thing anymore when the button the screen buttons when i click the con movie maker because you're just looking at the con movie makers instead of the desktop where this actual window is at now um what's very cool is i can open war thunder uh we'll switch to the con movie makers i'll open war thunder and with uh a click of a button i can get get you to show uh i'm showing you war thunder right now and uh basically we can go can just alt we could just go back to oh we can go back to three alt tab and then i can go back to my desktop in five five keystrokes it's that simple very cool i like the whole transition ability of course you got all your you can broadcast to twitch uh you can announce like with the other things so you can announce to your social media networks that you're streaming and uh you have all your resolution settings right now we're in 1080p recording you do your frame rate uh your transition type so when I switch screens you saw that it faded instead of doing all these different types of transitions um, yeah so and then you can now there's tools you can go straight once again straight to my recordings and it opens that window up right here and uh, you get you get very easy access to your recordings unlike fast where I have to go crazy and find it um, yeah so I mean there's a bunch of cool features you can add to all the different screens like I can go to uh, 
screen. Well, I won't go to it now because then you won't be able to see anything. But I can go back to we'll go back to the Con Movie Makers uh, logo, and you can go back and you can add. Oh, you won't be able to see this if I do that desktop. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Uh, so you could down here you can see you could add all these different. You can have a title screen, you can have a live screen, and of course you can like um, you can adjust how these are being viewed. So now I can put like. A different screen in the over here in this corner or a different screen over here and just get a bunch of different like four person screens at the same time which would be cool so I can do like have a Skype video chat with four different people and have like each of their each of their pictures in each of uh, the corners or something crazy like that it's very it's very cool I find uh, XSplit broadcasting more like efficient while recording once again um, I don't see the use for it for me using broadcasting because I'm new to streaming but it doesn't record it doesn't stream in the quality that I need because it's uh it it presses my hardware too much so unfortunately I won't be using Xbox for broadcasting but I feel like recording this is brilliant with the entire the entire like screen uh, layout and everything I get to switch to uh, games really quickly I have it set up every other game so you can see I have uh, empty things here but uh make sure to check out uh, XSplit their links will be in the description if even if you're not going to partner with Game of Five get the free deal or um, just make sure make sure to check them out and it's worth it'll be worth every penny to try to get like XSplit. it's easy to use it's very simple uh, it's high quality for a good price and uh, it'll make your streaming and your recording a lot easier so thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see you guys in the, the next video we do have a wonderful day